Hey, hey, it's Krista back from Activator Awesome. And today I'm here with another chat GBT tutorial showing you how you can maybe use this to help you in your social media if you're a small business owner. So one of the great questions that I had on the last video that I published on using chat GBT is, are you plagiarizing when you put it on your blog as if you wrote the blog post? And let's look at my answer. So my answer is, Definitely that you're risking plagiarism if you directly copy from any kind of AI, whether it's ChatGPT or any of the other ones that are on the market right now, without making significant structural changes. Because here's what's happening. What's happening is, is that AI is combing the interwebs now to be able to respond to whatever question that you've asked it to do. So if it's you've asked it to give you, you know, I don't know, 10 reasons why someone should use ChatGPT to make their social media easier, you're going to get responses generated from user content that's already out there. You definitely have to consider whether part of what they might be gathering information from could be misinformation. Um, so there's lots of people that put misinformation on the internet intentionally. And when you're using AI to actually help you with something, you have to consider that bias, okay? Because that's definitely existing. The other thing is, is that it could be actually taking content from someone else's website or publication online where they've had this information. So to take it, copy it, paste it, use it as your own without saying, hey, I used AI to do this, I think is irresponsible responsible as a business owner. And I think that there are definitely implications for plagiarism. However, here's where I think you can do it really well. Here's what I did is I went over to Instagram and I found one of my Instagram reels that did, you know, relatively okay for views. All right. So then what I did is I went ahead and I just copied the caption because this is what I think you, where you can use this and where it will really help you. So this is content that my audience obviously liked. They, and there were a lot of people that watched it. Like there were lots of views on this one. So what I can do is I can actually use it and go into chat GBT and ask it to give me several versions of the same caption, because if this content resonated, the messaging is important. My audience doesn't need to hear it once. They need to hear it multiple times. So if I come in here and I start a new chat, I'm just going to actually refresh. It's always a good process to refresh the page just so that you can make sure that it's going to take it. So many times I've come in here and had it open. I've put in my question or information that I'm asking for, and then it tells me that it didn't work. So refresh, always refresh. And I'm gonna tee it up with a little bit of information here. Okay, so here's what I did. I'm a business coach for women over 40. I have an Instagram caption that worked really well for my audience. I'd like you to give me five different versions of the same caption so I can use them in different social media posts sharing the same content. Here is the caption and then I put a colon and then I hit shift return to create a space. And then I pasted in, literally just pasted in my caption and I'm gonna hit the airplane. Like already it's taken it and it is making it even better. And it may even be giving me different pain points to agitate at different places of the sales cycle. So I feel like this is one of the most powerful ways that you can use AI in your business to make social media a little bit easier. But it means that you need to start with what's already doing well. So just go back to whatever social media channel you're using whether that's Instagram, whether that's Facebook, whether that's YouTube, whether that's Pinterest, whether that's TikTok, Twitter, it doesn't matter. Go back, look at your content, see what resonated with your audience, the, the audience that you most really want to attract and come into ChatGBT and ask it to give you several versions of the same thing. Be specific, tee it up with the right keywords, but all of these are amazing posts that I can just integrate into my social media scheduler so that I'm still staying on the same relevant topic that is important to my audience. I'm helping them understand who I am and what I do, but I'm not having to recreate the wheel. 
this will save you so much time and I think is one of the easiest ways to use ChatGPT to help you with your social media. Make sure you subscribe and follow along for more tips. Cheers.